tomatoes also i bought them at 100 kenya shillings that's what one usd so yeah guys the next thing i'm prepping is my uh kales they're almost turning yellow <laughs> i need to cut them and boil them i'll show you uh, and then this uh are sweet potatoes i think come and see or someone requested me to do uh i bought it at local grocery also this one at the farm actually like right at the farm and this is this uh skuma wiki and then i've eaten some also a bunch of like this i got around 50 kenyan shillings that's like 0 0.50 usd cents so yeah let me do a time lapse of me preparing it My skuma spinach is ready. I'm gonna boil it because I want it to preserve longer and I just want it when I'm ready. Because this is a meal prep, guys. It is. I hope we eat it also because bed sitter chronicles, I don't have enough nini. Supplies. Home kitchen supply. Let's use this. I'm gonna put it there for max 10 minutes and then we'll be done. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> so, my skooma is already done. I'll let it, uh, I'll let it cool down completely and then I'll put in this uh, container and put it in the freezer in the fridge yeah guys let me know if you meal prep and uh, what kind of foods are good for meal prep i feel like chicken i'm scared of buying chicken you guys if you're in kenya Nairobi, where do you buy a chicken because nowadays i find chicken in an test yeah Big G, my So let me know.
today I'm doing a uh, meal prep and obviously I'm gonna start early I'm gonna prepare my fish because I don't like uh, fish that's I'm not a fan of fish but I find like I like my fish when it's highly marinated so what we did is with my sister we cause shared uh, this guy that buys uh, fish tilapia fish from from Lake Victoria so we did that we bought 10, 10 fish and obviously because they are uh, we, I shared like because I'm one and then they are going to be sharing so I took four pieces the other is on the freezer so I'm going to do I'm going to be marinating this fish uh, what they did I, I I'll do next time is I'll, I'll tell them not to deep fry them but obviously now they're already deep fried so I'm gonna be marinating this with only two ingredients I've already blended my ginger I like this organic uh, garlic so I'm gonna marinate it with ginger and and ginger garlic turmeric natural things and uh, lemon I love lemon a lot on my fish and that's what I'm gonna be doing now so yeah I'm just gonna be squeezing yeah this I'm gonna be prepping a meal because I'm one person I'm living alone guys like this video if you want my turmeric I like original I like organic uh, nini. how's it called organic things this is enough for I had already blended my whatever ginger garlic paste. This one. And put it in the fridge and wait and we'll be back shortly when I'm uh, it's ready for cooking I'm gonna peel this banana they're from Kisi actually and I just took a couple because uh, I am a fan of banana so I'm gonna be meal prepping also this and I'm gonna go well with um, goat meat or means me like i'm just gonna cook them and then we'll see let me peel them Ooh, so guys i've decided i'm gonna how do you say grill i am gonna grill um, this fish so yeah i think so this is 
Heated. I'm gonna place my fish there. No. So my fish is placed there. And yeah. So now I'm gonna place my well coated potatoes, uh, pereres, and put them here. Uh, this is a meal prep. I'm, I'm thinking of just eating the sonini with the uh, garlic. We'll show you. After 30 minutes so the next one that I'm prepping is oh, I have tomatoes because Kenya we have to do tomatoes is uh, cabbage I'm gonna just steam this cabbage uh, the rice kitchen style way and then the next one is this uh, French beans so what we do is um, I'll boil the water so guys I'm gonna blend my my onions garlic onions, garlic, and turmeric, and ginger. So I'm gonna put a small meal paste.
without my thingy. So I'm gonna be starting with the cabbage. I'm gonna put the cabbage all together. If you have any advice, please give me because this is my first <laughs> meal prepping. Yes. Uh, so that's where my cabbages were going to go there and then I'll show you the others I'm starting out so please bear with me let me know which containers are best this is a 600 millimeters container and I guess this is one liter container I don't know so let me know and then this is uh, I recycled this one from my previous stages order so now we're going back to cook the meat guys I've changed my pan because I kind of like this pan so let's cook my meat from here gonna put my blended tomatoes I don't know why Kenyans love tomatoes but I blended for tomatoes and onions Ever since I've been at the rural area, I bought the eggs from Quick Madam to see how they taste. They're a little bit expensive, but we'll see about the taste. Then I bought these two. That's why I went to the shop, by the way. Right. So that's why I went to the shop is to buy the natural yogurt. For, to make the pineapple smoothie and uh, this you know what this is this is Kara no no I took the cream instead of taking the milk does it make any difference no so yeah coconut cream instead of milk damn I actually do this and natural yogurt to make my pineapple banana smoothie I think in a colada I'd say and then I bought also because pineapple really goes well with uh, mint so yeah I'm gonna store this mint on a tissue paper
macho que me smith ay que algo es con el apne bhai ten it like this so of course i made extra Oh. 